You're caring for a patient with a dopamine drip running. The provider has just changed the orders. Now he wants you to run the dopamine at 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Your patient weighs 75 kilograms, and the IV bag in front of you is labeled dopamine, 400 milligrams, and 250 milliliters. No smart pump, no pre-filled settings. It's up to you to calculate how many milliliters per hour to set the infusion. Let's train your nurse brain and break it down. Before we start this, remember, we're building on what you've already learned. If you don't remember the four-step dimensional analysis setup, pause here and go back to one of our earlier videos in the medication calculation series. Otherwise, let's get to it. Let's set this up and solve. The order is for 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute, and the patient weighs 75 kilograms. Start with 5 micrograms over kilograms per minute times 75 kilograms then cancel out the kilograms. Now we're going to convert micrograms to milligrams. So we put one milligram over a thousand micrograms and we cancel out the micrograms. Bring in the IV concentration next. 250 milliliters over 400 milligrams. Milligrams cancel. Then convert the time. 60 minutes over one hour. Minutes cancel out. Now you're left with milliliters per hour, the units you need. So you can multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom and then divide. Round to the nearest tenth if your pump allows and you get 14.1 milliliters per hour. Let's keep building. The provider orders norepinephrine at 0.1 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Your patient weighs 90 kilograms and the IV bag reads 4 milligrams in 250 milliliters. Set up your problem using dimensional analysis, converting micrograms to milligrams, and working your way to milliliters per hour. Pause and solve it, then come back for the full breakdown. Let's walk through it. Start with your order. 0 0.1 micrograms over kilograms per minute times 90 kilograms. Kilograms cancel out. Next, convert micrograms to milligrams. 1 milligram over 1,000 micrograms. Micrograms cancel out. Bring in the IV concentration. 250 milliliters over 4 milligrams. Cancel the milligrams. Then finally, our time conversion. 60 minutes over 1 hour. Minutes cancel. Now let's do the math. Multiply across the top, then multiply across the bottom, and divide. Your answer is 33.75. Round to the nearest tenth, and your final answer is 33.8 milliliters an hour. Here's your final challenge. The provider orders phenylephrine at 0.5 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Your patient weighs 70 kilograms, and the IV bag says 10 milligrams in 250 milliliters. Calculate the rate in milliliters per hour. Remember, convert micrograms to milligrams and set up your full dimensional analysis chain. Pause here and work through it. We'll break it down next. Let's solve it. Start with the order. Cancel out the kilograms. Convert micrograms to milligrams. Micrograms cancel out. Next, bring in your concentration. Cancel your milligrams. Then do your time conversion. Make sure to cancel your minutes. Now you can do your math. Multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and divide. Your final answer is 52.5 milliliters per hour. Make sure you always confirm this with pharmacy and a second RN, especially when using pressors like phenylephrine. If that last problem felt challenging, that's good. That means that your brain is doing the real work of clinical reasoning. Every time you cancel a unit, you're not just doing math. You're confirming safety, clarity, and clinical accuracy. With practice, dimensional analysis will become second nature, no matter how complex the calculation. You just worked through some of the most advanced med math nurses will encounter. You should be proud of that. In the next episode, we'll start with pediatric safe dosage, where every decimal matters and clinical safety starts with careful calculation. 
We'll walk through how to assess if a medication is safe for a child based on weight, dosage range, and maximum limits. From there, we'll build into pediatric IV titration, applying dimensional analysis in one of the highest stakes settings. Until then, keep training your nurse brain with real world logic and judgment first thinking.